Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. This week I'm going to show you how to add an icon that's a download button to the Divi audio module. So whatever audio you have in the audio module, whether that's from a custom field or just from a file that you've added, any visitor to your website will be able to click on that and download it. So it works great on you know, podcasting sites, church sites, you know, sermon audio, anything like that. It's really cool. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to do this. All right. So first of all, this is how it will look when we are done. You know, we have the audio module and its default, you know, color and all that. But basically what we've added is this icon, right? So if I click on this, it will open a window to download that file. All right. So let's get to the tutorial. Obviously, you will need the code snippets. The, there's going to be some jQuery and CSS, so make sure you're on the blog post. Yeah, and I actually thought of this uh, when I was doing a church website. Um, their sermon audio, they wanted to, they wanted their users to be able to just click to download, and I thought that's a great idea. So let's add that feature, right? So let's start um, by adding a custom CSS class to the module. So here. We're going to use this one, PA Audio Download. So we'll just go ahead and copy that. All right, so I've added an audio module here to this demo site. I'm just going to open up the settings and go to the Advanced tab, CSS, ID, and Classes. Open that up and right here, paste in the class, PA Audio Download. All right, so that's good. We can save that. The next step is to add the jQuery. So there's actually two steps, the jQuery and then the CSS. And together, they create this download icon. So the jQuery is doing the functionality part. It's taking, you know, when you click that, that icon, it's, it's taking the sourced file from the module and, and creating the download, right? The CSS will be actually adding the icon and positioning it at the correct spot and all that, all right? So let's do the jQuery here. So you can go ahead and just copy this right here. And I'll have some instructions here about where to add this. I'm going to uh, advise you to add it to your theme options unless you have a child theme and know where to put it. But if you go to your website, we'll be going to the back end to Divi theme options, to the integration tab. So whatever is in here, just ignore anything that's there before and paste it afterwards. So here you can see in the head of your blog, I have this, this script that we just pasted. And you can even see in here, we're targeting PA audio download. Um, and then we're getting the attachment. We're finding the attached audio. We're adding a button and making the, the button be linked. Um, and then the CSS will actually add the icon to that button. <laughs> anyway, so go ahead and save this. Now, as far as the CSS, you could also put that in theme options. Um, you could put it directly on the same page. I think that's what I'll do just for the tutorial. So, um, like I said, it's adding the icon. You can see it's positioning it here. Um, here, it's some more. I'll I'll show you that about the positioning. It's kind of um, something to overcome, and I'll show you that. But here's the actual icon content. So it's the number. It's the built-in, you know, um, Divi ET modules icon font and. This whole thing with where it's positioned, I'll explain that here in a second. So copy that. So for this demonstration, I you would put it the code in theme options or in your child theme. I'm going to use a Chrome extension that allows me to show you basically live. It won't actually add it to my site, but it's, it kind of isn't showing you live. It's called user CSS. But when I paste it, you can see the icon appear there now first glance it's like well obviously there's a conflict it's it's overlapping with the volume okay and that's expected because of the way we're adding this there's no way to add it in such a way to the module the module has predefined elements and we can't just like go into it and and put it in there um, so what we will do it's really easy we're just going to add some padding to the right side here and I'll, you'll see exactly what i'm talking about how how it will look. So open up the builder again. And I do have the instructions here. Here I talk about adding padding to the right. And I actually used 110 pixels padding right in the module. And that looks correct with the negative 50 pixels that is up here, right 
there. Um, if I hadn't added that, this icon would be all the way to the right side. So just open the module, go to the design tab, spacing, and add 110 pixels. And there you can see it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and exit the builder here to get the final preview. All right, so in my opinion, the 110 was the same amount here as on the left. You know, you could change that. And let me demonstrate something. At 50 pixels, if I had made this 40, you might like that better. Then you might need to go and make it 120 padding, right? Do you see what I'm, what I'm doing there? Depends how close you want it to the volume. I made it 50 and then 110 because I thought that looked pretty nice right there. Um, that would be the only thing that you would have to adjust. Now for me, I noticed this here. I don't know if this is just me. I asked support about this and they were like, yeah, we well, don't know, it's just you. But I have it on all of my websites, so I'm confused. I actually fixed it um, right here, this bottom snippet, fixed the position. If, if, if it's affecting you, let me know. I'd love to know if it's just me or not, but <laughs> this the, the numbers for how long the track is it's a, a divvy bug, I guess. But anyway, one other thing you could do if you really wanted to, I have an optional styling. I'll show you that. If I paste that in, like if you wanted to add this background. That's all we're doing. We're just saying, you know, adding a background. <laughs> you get the idea. Uh, that would be optional, something you could do if you want to. All right, so we're back where we started. I click on there and it, it downloads the file that I have in here. And just a little bit of a, a promotion here, we have the Divi Dynamic Helper plugin. So you could actually use a custom field and get the audio from the custom field. So when you have that plugin installed, here, let me show you real quick. Normally, you know, if you have like a, a podcast page or a sermon page, something like that, you by default, you have to come in here and click this upload button and it goes to your WordPress media library. And it's like, that's not very helpful. With our plugin, it adds the dynamic content icon and you can click it and then load the file from a custom field. It's really cool. So you could put this in a theme builder template and assign that template to your to your podcast page or your blog posts or your sermon pages, whatever. And it will always be, you'll set it up once and you'll never have to come in here and click on, you know, upload file and then go find the file. It will always be, from the custom field. So that's kind of a, a little promotion I have there, the Divi Dynamic Helper, um, a plugin that we have just released. All right, I hope you enjoy that tutorial. We do a tutorial every Tuesday here on our YouTube channel and on our blog. So make sure that you are subscribed for those. Um, it's really exciting having hundreds of Divi tutorials in our catalog by now. Um, and we hope that you enjoy this. And again, that's what you will get if you're subscribed. All right, we'll see you all in the next video.